David, thanks for joining us at the club's new training facility at Loch Inch. What can you tell us about it? I'm uh, absolutely delighted to confirm that we've now uh, reached agreement for Loch Inch to be our, uh, our training uh, complex for the next 12 months. Uh, we had an opportunity to come here for a few days at the, the tail end of last season and we used the facilities which the players and you know the, the, the coaching team thoroughly enjoyed. Um, there was one or two areas around about it that needed to, uh, to, to be worked upon and again I'm delighted to confirm that there's been some hard work going in over the last few weeks, uh, more internally than externally. Um, you know, we've, we've now set up a, um, you know, a head coach office and there's a full catering uh, facility being uh, put into the building as, as well and that will be completed in the next week or two ahead of the boys coming back for, uh, for, for training. The real benefit of coming to Law Kinch, in my opinion, is I, I just love the area. The environment is absolutely first class. What you have as you drive in to Pollock Park. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Loch Inch, Loch Inch is part or sits in the middle of Pollock Park, not too far from the Hags Castle entrance. It's a really healthy, a really healthy feel about the place as you as you drive in. The real beauty of it is that it gives us the benefit of astroturf and grass, as uh, as you'll see from from some of Sean's uh, footage. Uh, and I think that's a real benefit for the players because as we go into the first division, you know, we, we will we will fluctuate from playing on the AstroTurf and grass as we come up against our opponents week to, uh, to week. Um, the other thing, a few of the, 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 the committee uh, guys who have been involved in the, uh, the club for a, for a long, long time, um, when we came down to have a look at it, we were all pretty envious. Uh, took us back to the days when we were running about on the uh, the old red blaze outside the main stand at Hamden when our only our only light was a car park light as we ran up and down the puddles of the uh, of, of the red blaze so this really gives us an absolutely fantastic uh, facility both internally in the building it's equipped with with the gyms proper changing rooms areas for you and to work with the, the players on their rehabilitation and also, as I say, the surfaces of, of both grass and uh, and as the, 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 the AstroTurf pitch that's out there. So, so absolutely delighted that that's been tidied up in the last the last few weeks. So the facility here, working in conjunction with the City Charitable Trust, uh, we we have access to it from the first team training point of view. Uh, what we also have is at, the, at weekends, uh, obviously we won't need to use the facility here on a Saturday, uh, but on a Sunday the facility will be used from 8 o'clock in the morning practically to, to, to closing time at night um, to have many, many uh, young players, young football players. You know, I think you know, over the last few weeks there's been about 300, 400 kids uh, here, on a, here on a Sunday, which really ties in to our plans to develop and, and, and work with a really strong aspiring academy uh, and supporting youth football around our, our local community.